Welcome in fam, if you're new or just passed through to my channel, welcome, welcome, my name is Tam, I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. I am here today to do a reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today we're going to take a look at um, the lessons for Mercury Retrograde and what you are meant to release under this full moon in Pisces coming up tomorrow. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading more aligned with your own story, all of my information can be found below in the description box. And my books are always open. All right, let's get some general energies. Okay, we've got TikTok. Now that talks about divine timing. Also can talk about patience or lack thereof. But at this time, um, divine timing is in play. All right, what else do we have for Libra? What else do we have for Libra? Ooh. Okay. Now I'm not going to take all of these. I'm going to take these two though. Okay. So we have to be fair and then not for you, but it's in the reverse. So there is something that is meant for you. Um, there may also be a kind of a push pull thing here because I feel like you may not necessarily be in a receptive mode for the thing that is trying to come to you. You may feel as though you are like not worthy to receive um you may also be called to i think maybe there may also be an energy here where you may have been doing too much work is time for a nap kind of says like slow down and park it okay so <sighs> divine timing keep everything in balance and there is something here that is meant for you i like higher power at the bottom of the deck all right so let's jump right into it what are the lessons being presented to Libra during Mercury retrograde? Lessons for Libra during Mercury retrograde. Lessons for Libra during Mercury retrograde. What are the lessons for my Libras? Oh, look at that. Ten of Cups. All right, what's the lesson being presented during retro Mercury Retrograde for Libra? Okay. All right. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, but I do have somebody here who is rushing in. Okay, so like I feel like for you, you're already in a really good energy. Ten of Cups, I'll be in the first card that came out. Not for you in the verse. This Ten of Cups is yours. Absolutely, okay? Now, I do have some fast coming energy, fast incoming energy. Um, again, could be from, from a Capricorn, but it could be from somebody that you've already released energetically. I also feel that there's some disharmony between you, so maybe you've already fallen out, or they may be coming in to create some type of disharmony for you because you release them, okay? Yeah. Somebody here with this magician in the mirror. You got somebody here who's trying to come in. This is part of the lesson. You got somebody here who's trying to come in and create some disruption within your happy home. Yeah, they what you walked away or they walked away. You may have released them. Like I say, you released them energetically. So you got somebody here that's literally coming back. Whoever it was that you released is coming back, and they're coming back. Um, I kind of feel like I don't know with this in the reverse because a magician in the mirror in the upright would literally be like the magician in reverse for me in the tarot. So. I don't know, it could be whatever they've been trying or whatever somebody has done, maybe. It kind of feels like it's like some something backfired. I just heard return to sender. Child. Mm. Okay. How to overcome the perceived obstacles. How does Libra overcome the perceived obstacles? How does Libra overcome the perceived obstacles? 
Stop being worried about it. Stop having anxiety about a fight. I feel like that you don't even want to be a party party to. There's a need for you to have some conversation or a dialogue about maybe the fairness or balance within a certain dynamic. So maybe you were dealing with somebody who breadcrumbed you, right? Well, I kind of feel like this is a conversation to bring it to someone's attention. Hey, this is how you've been. And again, you may have been in some kind of conflict. There may have been some kind of conflict or competition. Somebody may have had you in some type of competition. For me, this kind of feels like, you know, the thing to overcome is to just release it and not be even tripping off of it. But somebody here may be very well tripping off of some kind of conflict that you're going through and wanting to come in and usher in some type of clarity or bring in some kind of communication, trying to, uh, I don't know, reset the scales maybe. Time to be fair. <laughs> Libra, you're here. So, you know, Mercury and Libra is supposed to support, you know, comfortable dialogue so we can all get along in kumbaya but with mercury going retrograde you know miscommunication is bound to happen yeah i feel like this conflict has is either i don't want to say it's preventing you from moving forward or maybe it's somebody here was trying to block or their attempt to come in to communicate with you is meant to create some type of blockage or to slow you down. Oh my God. This is meant to slow you down. This is somebody here. I feel like this energy of part of the obstacle that you're dealing with somebody or you could be dealing with somebody here who is trying to create this energy of Like they come in and they say whatever they say, but what they're doing is it's kind of like emotional manipulation, I feel. I'm just basing it on all the cards that I have. I don't have like specific cards for that, but like literally this looks like emotional manipulation. My daddy, I did, my dad used to say loose lips sink ships. And I just heard that and I have no idea why I'm looking at this because this is something reckless that somebody is saying. I feel like this is somebody coming in to say something, but what they're doing is they're trying to, they're trying to like play on your emotional sense. Like, so say you have a big heart or something, right? They know that you're a super loving person, right? So if I come to you with this, if I come back around to the with this with my bullshit, <laughs> if I come back around with my bullshit, I know I I can say a few things, a few specific things to get into your heart, to pull on your heartstrings. And when I pull on your heartstrings, what I'm actually doing is preventing you from moving forward and I'm disrupting your stability. Okay, I want you to pay attention to that. Yeah, temple path and the mm, temple path is in the reverse. So like, don't let somebody come in here and like take you off path with some, you know. I won't even say they're pretty words. Hell, this don't even look like pretty words. Just don't let somebody come in here and like wreak havoc and try to pull on your heartstrings. Okay. What do you need to release during the full moon? What does Libra need to release under the full moon in Pisces? What does Libra need to release under the full moon in Pisces? Ba ba, mm hmm.
kind of feel like you're going to be shown the path forward. We have the sun and the moon in the upright. So we've got illumination here. It could be illumination of, of people who could have been doing work in the background. Something coming to light to pro try to prevent your, to disrupt a flow of income maybe. Um, this also can talk about like, I heard seeing the path forward. That's something, there's something in that Seeing the path forward. I keep hearing, I've heard it three times now. Seeing the path forward. And being inspired by it. Now, the Three of Pentacles can talk about building on, you know, having an opportunity to build on a foundation that's already in existence, right? But it also can talk about you creating your own foundation mind you know integrating your mind body and soul so that i just saw 11 11 on the clock integrating your mind body and soul where all of you is working in harmony you know you're working completely in harmony with yourself and with spirit um and moving forward accordingly okay yeah, I just keep hearing like you're you're being shown the road forward. And you're also being shown whatever you've been attached to, whatever the unhealthy attachments that you've had or have had in the past, you're going to be clearly shown who and what these things are. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be shown clearly who who's here, who's been working against you, and who's been lying, where the secrets are. I heard the dead bodies. I don't know what that means, but take it out, resonates. Yes. All you gotta do is relax. No more anxiety. Just relax. Relax. Cause you're gonna be shown everything. What steps does Libra need to take to prepare for the new moon intentions? Put down the burdens that do not belong to you. What steps does Libra need to take? Oh. Yes. Because if you don't... Here's the thing. I feel like you... You're, you're very hopeful about your, about your future. Okay? You're just trying to maintain balance. You're trying to come from a very healed space. Um, I feel like you're also, you've got to, <sighs> there's something in, there's something in the line of perceived loss. There may be something here that you are perceiving as a loss as you lay down certain burdens. I'm here to tell you that it's not a loss. Yeah, let it go. If you've been angry, if you've been holding on to anger and holding on to upset over, you know, the things that have been going on, let it go. Okay? Let it and them go. There's you, there's no love here. There's no love here. There's no, literally, there's no love here. Feeling connected, psychic inspired, lucky expansion. Listen to your intuition. This may have something to do with your home, your family, and or your stability. And I feel like there is, there's a couple of things here. You've got somebody here, or energy, there's a lot of concern about losing abundance or, lo or some type of loss. Um, there may also be a need for you to show more gratitude to spirit for what you already have, okay? That, that message has been coming out really loud for the last couple of days, like people are so focused on their manifestations. 
that they've kind of sidestepped their spirituality and haven't really been focused on spirituality as much. And there's a big call to come back to gratitude and come back to spirit and, and show your gratitude for, you know, for the things that you have. Right, so you see, we have your parents or people, they've suffered trauma too. False mask, someone isn't being honest. Mm. Stop, time to reconsider. Release resentment in order to heal, untie yourself from the situation and attract your ideal mate, be the love you seek. And then we have quit your bitching. Stop being afraid to think outside of the box. You lack confidence. Blame yourself, not them. All right, one more. Yeah. Quit bullshitting. Half-hearted attempts get half-hearted results. Invest more time, energy, and willingness to change. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if any parts of this resonated for you, gave you clarity or confirmation on your own situation, please give the video a thumbs up to let me know. If you'd like to book a personal reading more aligned with your own story, all of my information is below in the description box and my books are always open. I thank you so much for all of those who support me um, with tips and donations to the channel. I appreciate you very much. And um, as, even those who have joined the membership, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Anywho, until next time, take care. I love you.